Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers, fellow toy nuts, and toy collectors? This is Odie, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So, <clears throat> on my last um, toy haul that I did, it was a small little diecast haul. It's the video right prior to this, um, I had talked about wanting to compare because I've been wanting to do this for a while because uh, I don't really, really ever open these. Um, I just don't have a place to put them. To be totally honest, not that I don't want to open because I definitely do. I just don't have a place to put them. But anyway, I kind of wanted to do a comparison, and I figured, you know, why not share with the rest of the community uh, what I think of the, the quality of some of these. So as you can see here, there's three of your big brands, and um, um, obviously there's some sealed, and then I have some um, open samples. Uh, on the green light stuff, I've never opened anything yet because I have a lot of complete sets. Um, the only reason I got that Chicago, um, the, that Dodge out, is because that's part of the the four pack for the blues brothers and so that's easy to take out it's not a big deal so that's why i pulled it out um so again two from my left to right you got your m2 you got your auto world uh you got your green light there's uh, another two guys back then i'll show you those guys in a minute um in front of you again m2 auto world green light uh you have two samples of the Two biggest brands, really, and all of um, diecast in the world, literally, um, owned by the same um, parent company, Mattel. Um, here's your Matchbox. Here's your Hot Wheels, both under a dollar. Well, in this country, anyway, in North America. I know in some other countries, unfortunately, they're a little bit more expensive. Um, in terms of quality, I mean, these guys um, originally, obviously, in the from the '60s all the way to late '80s, early '90s, they were all diecast tops and bottoms but you know times change and unfortunately in order for these companies to keep progressing and keep it under a dollar which is what hot wheels has always done for us um they had to change the bottoms and do a lot of plastic or sometimes if it's a metal bottom it's a plastic top uh, maybe if it changes color something like that of course those are a little bit more money but anyway you guys know the gist of it um this is for example as you can see this is a tesla model s it's a beautiful car one of my favorite, um, and I use these two as an example, A, because they were very close to me, um, but B, because it's honestly the same model. I wish I could have this car in every single brand to compare, but unfortunately, I do not. Um, plus, they just don't really have the rights or anything. But um, I guess my point, too, is that these, the, both of these cars are pretty cool. Under a uh, under the dollar, um, you know what you're getting. It's you, it's very recognizable if you know you know vehicles, whatever. If you're a kid, it probably doesn't really matter. Not yet, anyway. Not until you get older. But um, it's just a really cool car. Um, it looks like the real thing. Of course, you know they give it the the nicer rims. For example, the Hot Wheels has the spoiler and whatever. Not. Um, it's an electric spoiler, so when the car's going real fast, it just deploys to keep the downforce. This particular model is really parked. <laughs> I guess you could just kind of you know consider it being parked. Um, but yeah, so. This is your Matchbox and Hot Wheels, and this is what these guys are trying to compete to get our money. Um, and I don't know, I guess I'll give you my opinion if I feel that the $5 is definitely worth it or not, because that's honestly what all these what these things go for. So again, dollar, dollar, five, five, and five. This is actually a little bit more. Um, I got a couple samples of this in package just because they make a couple different samples. There's more on the green light, but unfortunately, I just didn't bring them out. Well, I just I honestly don't have them. Um, but yeah, so let me put these guys away. All right, so starting with the M2, um, my feelings on the M2 are, and I know I haven't even shown you the car yet, but let me just bring out this 57 Chevy here. Um, it is a nice looking car. It's really, really nice. Um it's it's all die cast here uh, but unfortunately the bottom is plastic now this particular model here um, you can actually customize and when I first picked it up I actually picked up two copies of this um, or two set two 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 copies two samples whatever you want to call it of this 57 Chevy the the Foose special um, chip Foose um, I grabbed it because I figured oh it'll be nice you know I'll, I'll be able to display one with a set of rims and then another one, you know, whatever other set of rooms you may, you know, want to put. Now, this particular one, um, I don't I don't think I brought out the package. Um, the package obviously comes with some axles and some rims. And again, like I said, I was really excited at first until I opened it. So my gripe with it is that for, you know, again, for a five dollar vehicle, I find it pricey. Again, it's a cool gimmick. But unfortunately, when it comes to the um, 
the quality control, um, it's really bad. Um, every single one of these tires is either not cut right, um, it doesn't look right on the on the rim, or the tire's too big. And again, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be complaining because it's twenty five dollars. Look at this one here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Um, but yeah, it's they just the the quality is just it, it's kind of horrible. So it, it's it might have seemed like a real cool idea, but until you play with it. Um, it, it's, it's, it's bad. They don't hold up all that well. Um, and like I said, the, the quality in terms of, look, that's the inside. So that's the outside of the rim. This is the inside, the, where the hole is, where you're supposed to put the, um, the axle. Um, it's, it's, was a machine well, it's destroyed and that's how it came factory. So I can't even use it. So if you were wondering why this has two different sets of rims, that's why, because I can't get a normal, uh, I can't get. Um, two pairs to fit on this properly without them either a not falling off or not fitting properly so unfortunately i had to do um, this particular style which is on that one there too and even then they're not cut right um, let's see if i can focus that a little bit better there come on it's not wanting to focus I apologize but yeah so because it doesn't uh, come on one more time give me a focus here yeah, it's kind of tough to see. And plus, it's like a, a gun metal color. Yeah, it's really badly cut. Really, really badly cut. Um, the bot, the back one's not too bad. Um, that one came out okay. But um, yeah, it's kind of... Oh, man. I know it's like almost impossible to see because my camera, for some reason, doesn't want to focus. Maybe it's the lighting issue. Let's see. Let's see if I can, that kind of helps a little bit. See how bad that rim is? That is horrible. And I know you can't see it in some of the other ones, but some of the rest are just like this. So I was a little disappointed the fact that, again, this is <laughs> kind of how they sold it. And again, and maybe it's just mine. Um, but when I looked at my other 57 Chevy in package, um, it looked just like this too. I mean, this is probably one of the worst examples. And I did put it out on purpose just because I wanted to show you guys. Uh, the back is fine. But um, yeah, this, this particular tire and rim is just really really horrible um in terms of the quality of the car i think it's it's it is nice i mean it's a pretty uh you know it's a 57 chevy it looks really nice and whatever not but um that that gimmick of the whole tire thing i think is crap garbage and definitely not worth the five dollars because it just wasn't fun to try to customize so that's my kind of take on the m2 now other than that obviously you know you're gonna buy what you're gonna uh, purchase because that's what you like and that's fine that's your money um would I stop buying M2s? I would probably be a little bit more hesitant, I think, um, if I ever buy another M2. But I mean, in terms of like particular brands that I love, like, for example, my Fords or my Mercury or like Dodge and stuff like that, you know, in terms of muscle cars, I'll, I'll probably still get them. And obviously, as long as they go on display. Now, like I said, this is a sample of something that they make. Um, this is a, uh, the same sample. Oh, I did have one out. Sorry. <laughs> this is what I should have shown you from the beginning. So this is the, the one where you customize. So this is another sample of it. Again, in package, it looks great. But until you start messing with it and you start noticing some of the rims are just not right, then it's kind of like, ah. Um, even here, you can tell this one here is pretty kind of bent. And not every single one of these axles is even. So some of them are going to be a little bit wider than others. And that might be okay if it's going to the back and you just want it to look a little bit wider. That's fine too. But, you know, you're going to have to measure it yourself and stuff like that. Now, the big thing that, I, that I've that i noticed that M2 prides himself is the fact that, you know, for the money, they say they're giving you the most. Um, and this is the example right here. So, you know, yes, it's the, the $5, you're gaining something that is not just... Uh, it's not four or five pieces like Hot Wheels. I guess basically that's what they're trying to say. I, I, I would assume that's their jab. They're jabbing on Hot Wheels that, you know, Hot Wheels, it takes two axles, four tires, and they're plastic at that, obviously. Um, you got the whole um, inside chassis. I mean, not the chassis, the inside crate where the seats would be. Yeah, you got the glass and then you got the body, but you don't have opening doors. You don't have opening hoods or, or trunk or whatever. Um, so this is how they try to, justify the fact that they're five dollars or over hot wheels where hot wheels they you know maybe there's seven eight pieces to make that die cast they're saying they have 44 some of them are more some are a little bit less but um i guess you know i mean i like i said to each their own yes do i like opening hoods and trunks and, and doors yeah it, it is cool 
but not if it's going to suffer in terms of you can't even roll that other car properly um, bringing it back out um, it's just it's horrible I mean look I'm pushing it and the, the fronts are just held there so that's an unfortunate thing uh, again will I buy ever M2s again uh, be a little bit more hesitant and it'll have to be something that I really like but probably not I'll, I'll be again just a little bit more uh, aware um, so yeah that's that Okay, so that was my M2 gripe, and probably some people saw it coming because when I did the other video, I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk about, you know, what brands, and unfortunately, I kind of had the M2, so, like, I was already in my head already picking on the M2. Um, next, we have the Auto World. I think the Auto Worlds are pretty nice. Again, they're a little bit closer to Hot Wheels in terms of there's no moving parts, um, the, the, the thing that holds the car together is, is stamped on. Um, there's a, another word for it. I apologize for not remembering. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean they're not they're not bad. Again, they're all pretty close into the same scale. Um, I don't think the '57 Chevy would be that much bigger. But you know, again, everybody has their own scale. Um, this particular one, this is the line where um, they're. I think they're a dollar cheaper, or maybe two dollars cheaper. This is the one in the regular blister pack. Um, and they they tend to make a lot more than they have for example this version here which this has actual real um rubber tires so it's pretty nice it has real riders if you you know want to call it that maybe that's a hot wheels thing but yeah so these are a little bit nicer these are a little bit more money but they're still you know very nice I've the excuse me i've never taken one of these out of the package but i'm gonna hope and assume that they they you know they ride very well and whatever not so that's your auto world. Don't really have much um, much complaint to say about them because, again, I, I already like this. I think this is really cool. Nice colors. I like the tamples in the back. They do the tamples in the front. Again, something that Hot Wheels just can't give you for less than a dollar. So they can only give you so many tamples. Pretty, pretty clear that, you know, it definitely says, you know, Trans Am and whatever not. Um, so this is pretty cool. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the auto worlds. Um... Would I pick them over green light? Probably not. Um, and I guess that's kind of why I did it from left to right. So my favorite, putting this guy back here, and I'll just leave this here so it's in the picture, um, is honestly the green lights. I think for the, and it's not $5, folks. It's We're talking six fifty seven dollars depending on where you go. Um, they're the most priciest. Um, but honestly, my favorite. I don't, unfortunately, get to get a lot of these. Sometimes I'll go. I'll see one or two stragglers, and if I really like it, I'll grab it. But um, in terms of this brand here, for some reason, I really always want to get the full set because every single car in the set, I just really like. I have probably like seven to nine sets fully complete in terms of series, you know, like one through six or whatever. I have a couple trucks, and that's, like again, another great thing about great, um, Green Line, and I apologize for not bringing one up, but, you know, they make real trucks, and it's all scaled properly. Um, bringing this guy out, I mean, you just feel it. Um, it's very heavy. It's all die cast. Every single one of them come with real riders. Um, and I believe even their blister pack ones, which are normally three ninety nine or something like that, I believe even those still come with real riders. The only thing that makes them cheaper is uh, I don't think they have the, not the licensing, I want to say, because I could be totally wrong with this, but I don't think they, um, they don't put a lot of color or effort into the, Kind of like the blister pack versions that are next to Hot Wheels and stuff like that. But when it comes to these over here, obviously now they're paying a little bit more in terms of um, licensing. For example, if they're doing the Hollywood thing or if they're doing the cop thing and whatever not. So that's probably why, unfortunately, they have to charge a little bit more. And from when the story goes, um, and I believe I heard this from... Um, oh, grab, I want to give him credit. Um crap i really should have remembered his name and i apologize uh gentleman's from canada he has an unbelievable um hot wheels collection spoken to him once or twice um really cool guy um jesus oh, i'm so sorry <laughs> i forgot his name it's horrible i don't i never write anything down so it's not like i you know i i script my my videos but anyway so this gentleman um i believe he's the one that said that the the reason the green light's so cool is because um it's from the former employees of johnny lightning um so you know you just have that quality um and so yeah so i i green light is honestly probably my favorite they even do the whole um instead of white lightnings they do the whole green thing because that's their name so instead of white lightnings they have the green so i wonder how that's going to be now in the market knowing that johnny's back and speaking of johnny 
move this guy to the side here. Yes, the Johnny Lightnings are back. And why didn't I include it in the in these three? Because uh, it's honestly, a, uh, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, it's just automatically going to be quality. Um, I don't know why Plain, Man Plain Mantis had to stop making them when they did. And unfortunately, again, those guys left and they had to create, or some of them left and they created Green Light. But it's nice that they're back. Um, taking the Green Light and the Johnny Lightning, you would think it's, I mean, they're, like perfect i mean the scale is just on point um they they go great with each other it is awesome so now you have two competing companies um but you can kind of keep them all together and nobody would be the wiser yes if you're a hardcore collector you're gonna know that one's johnny lightning johnny lightning should say one's green light but the fact that it's you know probably some of the same sculptor sculptors from before some of the some designers artists and whatever um you know you're gonna get two awesome quality brands so this is really really cool so i'm, I'm kind of glad this is kind of happening now so it's the kind of like the new renaissance of diecast collecting look at that um the license plate is tampled same thing there they didn't do it on the front with this one. Oh, it's actually right there. Yep. It's just amazing. Amazing. That is so cool. Yep. And then the last thing I did want to show you, because obviously this is a probably, you know, again, these are in the $5 range is going to be your Hot Wheels. And, you know, again, you have your pop culture, retro entertainment. Um, in terms of casting, probably the least in quality which is kind of funny um i want to say that hot wheels are probably the most fun to collect personally um and there's so much more of them out there that it's that's it's it's tough not to like them but in terms of the the scale um or the the, the drawing or the engineering whatever sometimes they're not really um on point in terms of the the actual original but I think, again, there's still so much fun. Their tires and rims are by far the best of any of these other brands here. Um, even if it's real riders, they still roll really well. So if you're looking for a toy to play with, even if it's a $5 toy, Hot Wheels is honestly the way to go. And again, that's why all these other brands are competing to get our money. So we don't buy these and we just buy theirs, you know, I think. And honestly, you know, um, this is one in package. This is the Rolling Thunder. Again, not very accurate considering that it's a big truck and the Ecto is a 1959 catalog or whatever. You would still think the truck is bigger. I mean, yes, it's bigger because it's taller, but it's not bigger because it's longer and whatever. Not. So, again, I just thought I would share. This was a lot of fun to do for you guys because, um, again, there's just so many brands out there. Um, again, Johnny Lightning, um, Green Light on point. Um, probably second favorite brands after the Hot Wheels and Matchbox because again, for a dollar you just can't. Johnny and Greenlight will never ever compete. Are you getting that quality of the design of the original? Probably not, but still, they'll just they'll never be up there. Um, so there you go. And then Auto World, I, Auto World's you know I've kind of grown to like it. Um, I, I think they look really nice. And, um, you know, the M2 is, it is what it is, in, in particular this one here. Again, I'm, I'm a fan of the Cougar. I think it's an awesome car. This is only $859. So it's kind of a no-brainer seeing as if you buy them by themselves, it's like five or six bucks or, you know, depending where you go. So this was still cool. Again, you know, they're giving you this, you know, this auto lift and all that. So that's kind of cool. You can always put it on display. So it's fun. But again, the quality, the fact that... You don't get 100% die cast top and bottom. I feel that's a little expensive. Same thing with the auto. But I just think the auto rolls just look a little bit nicer than the M2s. So unfortunately, the M2s are my least favorite. Still cool to purchase. Um, you know, there's always going to be those models that you might want to get. But um, st still my least favorite, unfortunately. But guys, thank you so much for viewing um, this video. I just, again, wanted to give you my two cents on this. Sorry I made it so long. But when you start rambling and, and you, you're kind of thinking <laughs> about, you know, what it is that you like and don't like, it just kind of it becomes long. But as always, guys, thank you so much for viewing. Please rate, um, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Later.